Hey, I'm here at the, the first million dollar major, uh, the MLG major. This is the group stage matches. I'm here with Shox of G2. Uh, you, you lost your first match yesterday versus Virtus Pro. It was 16-3, uh, I think. One. One, 16 <laughs> one. Uh, A pretty rough match. Yeah. I mean, we could start there. Uh, now, I know it's the, the Virtus plow, right? They get momentum, they start going, it's really hard to stop them. Mm -hmm. Were you worried about uh, Were you worried about playing on train or worried about playing Virtus Pro on train? Neither. Like uh, we were pretty confident because we had a lot of good results on internet, especially on train. But just sometimes you you don't know. Like it's just not a good day, you know. Yeah. And when they started to get the momentum, it was really hard to stop them. What is the strategy if a team starts playing like faster and faster, maybe a little bit less respectful because they keep winning? What do you do? Like how do you change? Well, I don't. We don't have the. I, I think no teams have the, the real key. The thing is, like you have just to find some, something to just put some runs. If you put one or at least two or three runs straight, then the game is totally different. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do it, then you will just be crushed as us yesterday, and that's really hard because you know it's the first game on, on the day. So you are like, if if you come in the match like a little bit like shy, you know, and they're just rushing on you, then you. you you are just not gonna aim as you should, and if they start just shooting at you like this, it's really hard to just counter it. So what changed? What changed coming in today versus Cloud Nine? Uh, we were like more like okay, yesterday they were good. We did we did some mistakes, but the more thing we have to adapt is like we didn't enter the game as we should. You know, like we were too shy. The communication was like too slow and stuff like this and then yeah they were in the game and we were not in yeah. so this time we had a little brief be before we cry a lot and we were just like come on let's go you know let's yeah. get the flame on is that is that hype really important like to get loud and everyone talking i think it's just different it's just really proper to every person and every teams you know because it depends on your personality but for us like we have five emotional players so yeah. it it means are French players really emotional? Yeah. A lot of French players. Why do you think that is? Honestly, I don't know. Are you one of them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Do you think that affects you? Is that something you have to fight with through your career? Sometimes, yes, because being an emotional player is like when everything goes good, like you will be better than everyone. Mm. But when things don't, I mean, don't go well, like it's harder for you than every people to just step up and coming back. How does that affect you in your role? Where, what's your role right now, and where was your role when you weren't doing so hot? Uh, the thing is, like, I used to be a lot of lurker style, you know, but it really depends because sometimes I want to lurk and sometimes I just want to go first and just to make the entries. Yeah. So it's really, I'm this kind of player who I like to play on the momentum, you know. Mm -hmm. if, if, I can, if, can, if I can feel that I can win a match by myself or at least put a lot of kills, I just want to do it as much as I can. Would you say that uh, Existence has had leadership problems in the past? Mm -hmm. And you've like worked on them? Yeah. Is that fair to say? Uh, the thing is like he has been leading for like four or five years straight, you know. And at the end of last year, between November and December, uh, I said, okay, I take the lead, just take a breath yeah. and come back in January and it will be easier for you. And since we worked a lot together, not just only him or I, just really together, and that's our strength. Like I know, like sometimes when we lose a match, it's not because we are bad. It's if him and I don't have the same vision of the game we are gonna play, it will fuck the our, our team, you know. Because yeah. people in the team will can, can feel like if we are not agree, like everything went bad, you know. Yeah. So we are already working on this and to know before a game how we're gonna play it, and if we both agree on the style we're gonna play then everything should go fine normally. That's the problem with having like two calling, two people calling, right? The thing is like, he's the main caller, but I got a lot of responsibilities too, but mm -hmm. we just try to share it and he's the lead anyway, so he will always get the last call. What would you say is like the main thing that's changed from when it wasn't working so well uh, and after you took your break and then let him come back, what is the main thing that he changed that uh, really worked best for you? I don't think, uh, I just think, when you just lead straight for years and years like this, you don't have the time to look a lot of match and just to see, for example, the meta game or how the good teams are playing right now, you know. So you're just like above them. And when you are just, you are not leading, you have much time to spend on watching match, watching demos and stuff. 
and then it really shows you like okay how there is how the meta game actually is playing by all the teams and so you can adapt yourself and see way more easier like which is good what is good and what is bad you know oh so that's interesting so you'd say like it's uh, for him it was a matter of because he was really riding high on source right yeah you know, he was leading the meta. Yeah. So I guess it, he wasn't used to having to follow a meta. I've, yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now he's kind of being a little bit more open, a little bit more flexible. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So now you guys are playing like really well. Your your previous results online made you seem like you're more of a favorite in your group than I think your seed showed. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're gonna move into your next match like feeling really good. Do you have like a expectation for where to place in the major, like realistically? Honestly, no. We just want to pass the group stage. Yeah. That's it. So tomorrow will be the day. We have to play like today. We have to be focused. We have to enter the game properly and just think about ourselves doing what what we did in practice for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean the last two weeks because we had a boot camp. Mm -hmm. What worked and just do it again and don't think too much. Just play our game. If it works, it's good. If it doesn't work, then we will work again again, and we will see maybe in one or two months. But at the moment, we just need to focus on ourselves and trust in what we are doing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the interview. No problem. Congrats on your match today. Thanks.